Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to record a video on this great resource that is provided by Wayne Price. I am going to put profile link in the description. So you should follow him for a great content on Power Query, Excel, Lambda, and everything it should. I am going to just explain this slide that combine text by position and I have created a few example cache here. Don't skip this, especially the fourth example is really out there of your time. Okay, so basically this one combine text by position. It take a list as a, I mean basically this combine text by position takes a list of position as an input and return a function that can be used on a list of text. So this is our initial list that we are going to use as a input parameter of written function of this combiner okay so combiner dot combine text by position so if you look at this content we said that each position in the position list so basically that this list so this list is called position list so each position in this position list so each position in the position list Correspond to the equivalent position in the text list. So basically, what this means that this one means the first item in the list, second item, third item, and fourth item. It doesn't matter if it's one, two, three, four, it could be any number like this. But it's still zero means for the first item in the list, nine means the second item, sixteen is third item, and twenty-six is fourth item. So basically that to the equivalent position in the text list, the integer in that position list element represents the starting character position in the output text. So the important part here is the output text. So you'll have output text and that's going to be indexed based on zero. So like this. So this is output text, starting index is zero, and each of these Position this position represent the index of the output text. Okay, so for example, this one so one, two, three, four that means this position, this position, this position, and this position. And as you remember, that this one, two, three, four represent equivalently to this list. So one is for the first item, so you will pick the first item from this section and put the first character. So in and the second item so that is r and the third item that is w and the fourth item that is u of say that is u okay now if you have intermediate blank space then you will fill out by space but if you don't have any blank space then you will not fill out by anything so just fill out this with space okay so this is just one space and and in this section you can see that the fourth item that USA you only picked the first character so you should fill this with the rest of the characters okay so that's it. so this is the output so let's try this way so you'll pick the first item at zero index so that is this microsoft so pick the first character and go to the ninth position so that is going to be r 16 double and 26 is u now you need to fill this as much character as you can get from this you know text so you can see i can fill out like I so Microsoft okay. so like this is one two so T Microsoft and this is the red mount. Now you can I T and then M and then 
Oh, and then a and D. Okay, now we can put a and then SF. Okay, so the third example that let's say you have more item like this so from the previous example we'll fill out like m and then we'll fill out r and then w and then e right and as kind of similar so i'm going to just fill this character here now if you look at this section i have mentioned the 27 right but we don't have any item correspond to this position right like you know we don't we have only four item here but we pass five indexes so this 27 will fill with a space okay? so just fill out with space and when you fill out this with a space you cannot take this s a from the last text that usa so you don't need to take s a because this one is filled with space okay so you only get u so let's try this example to look at this more closely so as up to 26 we can just copy paste this and then you can see 27th position so you don't have any corresponding item in the list initial list so you'll fill this with space right and then you can see we have 30 so we'll fill this with space you don't have any item on this 13th corresponding position in initial list so you'll fill this one with space as well and you'll fill this one with space as well and as you don't have any text after this 27 so you'll fill basically all of this with space now let's look at this example example 4 that 0 and 60 so we'll fill this 0 with the first character that is microsoft and then fill 16 with the r the second one and we don't have any more indexes so we don't go any further now we'll put this like i c r So basically, we'll just Microsoft, I guess, I can just so we'll fill this Microsoft, and then you can see that we don't have any more, you know, character in the first item. So we need to fill this one with basically space, okay? and then in Redmond. So like this so this is it and if you want to take a look at power query and just just copy paste this thing and think this will work but I have treated like this and then this is the first example one two three four initially you can see there is a space and then we have Microsoft the second example and no ending space, no initial space. Third one, we have only up to U because we have so this 27, so the more positional index. And then we have this 0 to 16, and you can see we have some space in between these two words. And then we have this one, and you can see we have a lot of ending space like this, up to 30, you know, for 55. So that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.